16 जून 2023, मोस्ट ऑप्टिमिस्ट वेन टू बी फुली इमर्स्ड इन दिप्टेशन ऑफ रामायण रिटर्न बाय वाल्मीकि टाइटल्ड आदि पुरुष This was a film that promised to be the pride of our nation boasted by the makers as having given their heart and soul to the project extremely vocal about the effort and level of detailing that has gone into making it a reality what we got however was a poor excuse of a film a filmmaker piggy backing off of the success of his previous movie a writer who seemed too pompous for his own good and a final product that seemed abysmal both from a writing and technical point of view the skepticism already creeped in for the audience as the teasers and trailers dropped and over a period of time the frames just kept on getting darker and darker to hide anything that can be screenshotted and trolled i mean they kept ravan and his look at bay for so long that everyone acknowledged something is fishy and the final product we all saw was an embarrassment compared to the renditions we already have celebrated especially from a styling point of view it really felt like the makers were taking a mick out of us the rugged and aggressive look of prabhas as ram the cartoonish renditions of bali and sugreev the comical hotel transylvania approach of ravan and meghnath it all seemed like a fever dream and absolutely paled in comparison to ram anand and sagar's tv show and the indo japanese collaboration we all know and love the ramayan and sagar tv show is etched in everyone's memory so much so that the actors are still revered for the parts that they played often called in public as the gods they so beautifully portrayed this was not only the case for an older generation that grew up with the show but a generation that got reintroduced to it during the pandemic and its reruns a sincerity was as clear as day with this adaptation that went on for 78 episodes a conscious level of detailing with not only the characters but the world created even for a new generation that got introduced to the show the dated special effects and set work was inconsequential as the writing and acting performances were so sincere and effective but who knew what would cement a really cool slick and intricate detailing of the world of ramayan would be an indo japanese anime the doordarshan and cartoon network reruns were a must and this carried on for more than a decade What's hilarious is that Om Raut and Manoj Muntashar in their interview spoke about how a generation was obsessed with superhero films and how their rendition of the Ramayana was an aim to make those revered figures for the younger generation but what they failed to realize was that it was done already close to 30 years ago it really is a crime of the product we got in the form of Adi Purush but the rumor mills constantly floating around about another project centered around Ramayana is it really possible that we can finally get the Ramayana we deserve on the big screen it has been confirmed by various news portals that the ramayan trilogy directed by nitish tiwari and starring ranbir kapoor as ram yash as ravan and sai pallavi as sita will go on the floors in the first quarter of 2024 this has been a cast that has circulated for quite some time and while recommendations of actors like alia bhad dipika padukone and rithik roshan kept floating around it seemed like this is the cast that has been finalized and this really makes me curious about tiwari's version and how the actors aim to portray those revered figures The fact that the storyline is going to be stretched over a trilogy it makes me assume that the first part will establish Ayodhya the family dynamic the order of the 14 year vanvas and will end at Ravan's abduction the second part i would imagine will be Ram and Lakshman's pursuit of forming the army to Lanka and the conclusion of the trilogy will be the long drawn out battle what's important to acknowledge are the several stories that are left untold in different renditions so for those who assume that the trilogy might be too stretched the material is too dense for it to be not effective over three movies this is something people felt with the narrative of adi purush 2 that its tale is far too big to be reduced to a mere feature film there is of course going to be a massive debate regarding the casting and whether the actors roped in suit the gods or not and you also do chime in in the comments below of your honest thoughts regarding the casting but one thing i am absolutely ecstatic about is that dneg is responsible for the visual effects of the movies and the product that they put out with brahmastra was really something to marvel at Ayan Mukherjee was often trolled for the delays that Brahmastra experienced but the final product that came out at least visually was something never seen before in Indian cinema and this is the same level of detailing that is required for an important tale like Ramayan when people saw the final product of Adi Purush one developed immense respect for the visuals of Brahmastra and what really went into making that project a reality This is something that makes me extremely hopeful for the magnum opus the effort and investment that the project truly deserves 
While I was not a fan of Nitish Tiwari's previous venture, Bawal, the years that have gone into him writing about this film makes me believe that this is the project he has been waiting for all his life. The beauty of Dangal and Chichore should not be casually forgotten, so it's not crazy to assume his intention is in the right place. I think Sai Pallavi is the perfect casting for Sita. There is a warmth and ease in some of the roles that flash in front of my eyes, where I feel the purity and calmness required for Sita's role is something that she can beautifully channelize for this tale. I think Ranbir Kapoor as Ram can easily extract the calmness required for the role, versus the antithesis aggressive rendition we saw in Adi Purush. Yash's Ravan, if actually finalized, can be the intimidating and towering evil force that can really produce a face-off for the ages, and the tale of Ramayana we truly deserve on the big screen. I am sure you have many thoughts about this project and its casting, and you know very well that the controversy that will develop just for the off-screen personas bleeding into the on-screen characters they are portraying, but we will be here to dissect anything and everything, so let's see how this ambitious project develops. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you think about the casting and this announcement finalized. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handles are right in front of you. Follow me at JammyPants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.